Alright, we'll go through the uh, instruction book for here for the ARB portable compressor kit operation guide. The model number is the CKMP12 as it's known for. Just have the uh, ARB's stuff here. It's the declaration of uh, conformities and no liability and stuff well, by the ARB Corporation stuff. Um, ARB accessories, where to find them, call them um, from Victoria as their headquarters. Uh, then we've got some table of contents here. We'll go into introduction. close up here has uh, important uh, to get the safest and most effective service from the uh, portable air compressor please read the guide entirely before attempting the actual use uh, has some hints All right, here is uh, what's included it's a fully assembled and performance tested air compressor mounted into a quality tradesman grade hard case OEM quality illuminated compressor isolating switch high quality wiring loom with automotive grade alligator clip and uh, battery connects and the pressure switch driven automotive relay control circuit splash resistant air filter and washable high flow Sintered bronze filter cartridge, 6 meters of high quality abrasion and heat resistant air hose with male and female couplings. Hose couplings are specially designed for corrosion resistant, one handed push lock and quick connect type to suit US industrial standard air fittings and the reference number things here. Inflation accessories kit uh, including high flow tyre pressure attachment, a US industrial standard with integral stop valve and a Schrader valve to US industrial standard adapter and extra nozzle attachments for inflating uh, items such as uh, balls and air mattresses. Features of the uh, CKMP12 air compressor. ARB uh, series uh, portable air compressor is world class recreational product designed and built commercial industrial standards uh, based on the following features. Ultra compact design makes the highest flowing portable air compressor in its class. Constructed entirely of lightweight a high strength uh, engineering grade materials including military and aerospace standard components fully sealed components for moisture and dust resistance motor is 100% ball bearing equipped all features and unique linear brush pre-load system for extra long life low heat quiet operation throughout its life of the unit the motor is Thermal cutout protected against damage caused by extreme heat use. The pressure switch is a 40 amp automotive relay equipped electrical system, prevents run on when not filling or any damage to the compressor hoses as a result of pressure uh, generated from kink airline. Uh, illuminated isolating switch which is easy to see at night and protects the user from hazardous sparking when connecting the alligator clips to the uh, battery terminals high duty maxi fuse equipped power leads for professional inline circuit protection hard anodized cylinder bore and PTFE teflon impregnated carbon uh, fiber piston seal for Reduced friction and maximum trouble free life. Compressor piston is equipped with a German made part high shock rated uh, cylindrical uh, roller bearing. High density airflow washable 
scented bronze air filter element and the uh, over pressure safety valve equipped as a backup protection from either pressure switch failure, thermal over pressure generated in hot vehicles, no need to drain pressure when finished use or accidental connection in an external high pressure source. So it's very high quality compared to some other brands. got the uh, specifications on this sheet here yeah, just with the amperages uh, supply voltage is 12 volts imperial and metric uh, the maximum current draw is uh, 32 amps at 690 kPa and imperial is 32 amps at 100 psi we got the fuse rating maxi blade is 40 amps of both then the uh, weight of the total kick is 6 0.5 kilos or 14.3 pounds. The dimensions of the unit is uh, 440 millimeters, 238 millimeters in width, and height is 208 millimeters and inches as stated. Uh, the duty cycle at 22 degrees, which is 72 Fahrenheit, is 50%, and Imperial is 30 minutes uh, per hour and uh, the maximum uh, pressure switch uh, closed is uh, 520 kPa and the Imperial is 75 psi the pressure switch open is 725 kPa and 105 psi and safety valve pressure of 1035 kPa and 150 psi Imperial the motor thermal cutout is 115 degrees Celsius or 239 degrees Fahrenheit. The max ambient temperature is 100 degrees Celsius and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The no load specs is uh, the current draw is 13 amps metric at 0 kPa and Imperial is 13 amps again. The airflow rate of 75.1 litres a minute and 2.65 CFM in Imperial. Specs on the air pressure, tire pressure metric to 200 uh, kPa is current draw is 22.9 amps and the same for Imperial. Airflow rate of 61.6 .6 litres a minute and 2.18 CFM. Um, the specifications above were recorded under laboratory conditions at 20 degrees Celsius. Um, so you know that this product is tested uh, till its limits. And uh, external connection specs, the air take thread is a female 1 in 4 18 NPSC parallel pipe thread. The air filter thread is male as the same tapered pipe thread. The pressure switch thread is the same. Uh, safety valve port thread is 1 8 BSPP parallel pipe thread and the manifold thread is the same 1 4 18 NPT tapered air coupling fitting type um, this is the US industrial standard ISO 6150B um, Rector series 23, 24, 1400 uh, Tema series 1400, Legree series 23, Dyna Equip D3, uh, uh, CEJN 310, uh, US Mill C4109, Norma AFNOR NFE49053, Parker series 31/4 and 21/4, uh, I AI GNEP 220, Hansen Series 3000, Norgen Series 237, and Gromley Series 600. Uh, it's warranty up on the bottom. ARB compressor is designed to provide many years of travel fee recreational use and is warranted for free from manufacturing defects for two years from the purchase date. 
um, safe air compressing operation. Uh, we'll go through um, connecting for use is position the compressor on a sturdy flat surface before opening the box. Unlock and open the box using the two toggles and make sure the switch is in off position uh, by pushing down on the top of the switch rocker. Note that the switch uh, should normally be in the off position. It's designed to be moved into the off position every time the box lid is closed. Uh, uncoil the power lead and connect the positive to the positive alligator clip red handle directly to the positive terminal of vehicle's 12 volt battery and uh, connect the negative alligator clip black handle directly into the negative terminal of the vehicle's 12 volt battery. Note that the switch should be illuminated but the compressor should not start until the rocker switch is pressed on on the bottom it tells you the compressor has now been connected to power. Attach the air hose to the compressor by inserting the male end of the hose into the hose coupling on the compressor and simply pressing inward until the coupling sleeve clicks forward. The sleeve of the coupling does not need to be pulled back by hand at all. Attach the tyre filler or other compatible device to the opposite end of the hose in the same way. Press the button on the rocker switch down to start the compressor and pressurise the manifold and hose. Note that the compressed air hose expelled through the attachment device, tyre filler air tool, the compressor should automatically start running. It will continue to run until air use is stopped or pressure in the manifold and hose reaches the preset pressure switch a cutoff level. Tire filling is connect the compressor to the vehicle's or 12 volt vehicle supply. If the vehicle is well ventilated, leaving the vehicle running at idle while running the compressor will give maximum compressor performance and avoid depleting your vehicle's battery. Attach the tyre filler supplied into the air hose coupling and insert the male end of the filter into the hose coupling and simply pressing inward until the coupling sleeves click forward the sleeve on the coupling does not need to be pulled back by hand at all. Press the bottom of the rocker switch down to pressurise the unit. Note that the ARB's filler attachment is equipped with a stop valve. Air will not pass through the tyre filler attachment until it's connected to the tyre itself. Attach the tyre filler attachment to any standard tyre valve by depressing the latch lever of the filler and then pushing the filler into the tyre valve until a good seal is made. Note that the compressor should automatically start now once the air passes through the filler. To keep the air flowing without holding the filler, simply release the lever on the filler while still holding the filler into the tyre valve and let go of the filler. To stop filling, uh, and remove the filler from the valve, depress the lever on the filler and pull the filler away from the uh, tyre valve. Note, uh, periodically uh, disconnect the filler and check the tyre pressure with a automotive tyre pressure gauge. It's important, do not fill or overfill your tyres to the manufacturer's specified maximum pressure rating. To protect the tyre valve, always refit the tyre valve cap once you have inflated the tyres. Uh, to the desired pressure. Understanding the built-in protection devices, the compressor has equipped with both thermal and overpressure protection devices in the interest of personal safety and to protect the unit 
an unnecessary internal damage. Never disable or modify any of the compressor's inbuilt protection devices, uh, thermal cutout switch. The process of compressing air is that the natural generator of heat, this heat generation is increased accordingly by increasing the compressed airflow rate and or increasing the pressure level of the airflow. The large DC electric motor inside the compressor is also a heat source which increases the amount of work done uh, by it. The compressor has designed naturally to disperse the heat into the air around it, however the ambient temperature outside will affect on how fast the heat can be dissipated. If excessive uh, levels of heat are allowed to build up inside the compressor until it may be put at risk of internal damage for the reason of internal electric switch has been designed to into the back of the motor which will simply turn the compressor off and the temperature reaches dangerous levels and will automatically reset and turn the compressor back on once the unit has cooled down to a safe temperature the off time may at least anywhere from just a few minutes to half an hour depending on the conditions around the compressor. Then we have over pressure safety valve. The compressor is equipped with a pressure operated electronic switch which has been factory set to turn off the compressor at a safe level of pressure and then turn it back on once the pressure has exhausted down to a lower level. Uh, should this switch fail for any reason, the compressor may generate pressure beyond its safe shutoff limit. The compressor which has attached its safety pressure maximum that has been left in direct light, sunlight or inside a hot vehicle may build up any additional pressure past the safe working level. Connecting your compressor up to any air system might already contain a residual pressure that is higher than the compressor's safe pressure limit may rise into the internal pressure of the compressor past the safe pressure limit and uh, this compressor is equipped with a mechanical overpressure safety valve which has a factory set bleed off to atmosphere any excessive pressure build up from any situations above before it can pose any personal danger or cause damage to compressor components and maintenance and service, air filter services. The CK MP12 air compressor comes factory fitted with a high density, high flow, centered bronze air fitter filter to protect the compressor components and accessories that might be used with the compressor from damage caused by ingress dirt, fine dust particles. The filter element is removable and cleanable should it Provide the years of continuous service, follow the strip uh, steps and um, clean and resemble the air filter. Unsnap the and remove the air filter cover from the air filter base by attaching slight prying pressure until the fingers of the cover remove the filter element disc. Vigorously wash the element in the situation of hot soapy water. Rinse the element in pure hot water. Dry thoroughly. Insert the element back into the filter base, making sure that the flattest face on the disc faces forward of the compressor. Snap the air compressor cover back into the base and rotate the cover into the desired position picture demonstrates here just by pulling it off with your fingers at the little disc there and the base of the, the filter service and maintenance for the electrical fuse replacement with the fuse if it does blow it's very easy to replace if the electrical fuse is equipped in line with the positive plus power lead red continues replacing it can be removed by opening the black 
a rubber fuse housing cover and pulling straight outward on the fuse until the slide is free of the fuse block. This fuse should only be replaced with a fuse of the same type, maxi blade type and the same amp rating or less. Safety valve service. The CKMP12 air compressor comes factory equipped with a safety valve to automatically and safely relieve any excess pressure from inside the system. This pressure could occur as the result of the fault in the uh, pressure switch circuit. Pressure generated from prolonged exposure to sunlight, accidental connection or higher source of pressure if it becomes necessary to service this valve to change the relief pressure. Uh, use alternative spring or clean the valve seat then it can be easily disassembled as follows using a 4mm hex key unscrew the um, safety valve fitting from its socket remove the spring and pop it from inside the valve socket clean or replace the valve components as required note replacing safety valve parts with non-genuine ARB parts or modifying these parts in any way to change the relief pressure valve and is therefore not recommended and uh, reassemble safely valve as below tighten the fittings until the head of the fittings contacts the compressor head casing you can see here it's a little screw on the side with an allen key on the front it has all the uh, part numbers and how the compressor is constructed that's what's inside the box. And here the filters. The covers, the plates and the switches. And it brings us to the last page. And it has all the uh, parts here that were listed on that page behind of um, all the stuff that you need if you need to replace a part and their part number as above just another spec sheet here then any notes that they have here with the head assembly and complete o-ring seals, piston assembly, airfield of bases thread lock must be used and uh, a screw 32 and then torque to 10 newton meters. Cap screw 32 should never be reused once it's been fully torqued once. So that is the uh, manual and we'll get into the uh, operation of what it's like from 20 psi to 40 psi and um, we'll see how, how much time it takes to uh, do that. And, uh, We'll uh, show that now.